In this video, I'm going to take some architecture contours um, and take it from one drawing and put it into this drawing and then align it to the correct position because the architects moved it and then create a finished grade surface to add the data in. So I'm going to go to the grading plan tab and on here there's some contours with the property lines on it. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and copy them. And I'm going to use the control C shortcut on the keyboard. Going to the topo surface report, I can come down here and paste and I can paste to the original coordinates. If I double click my mouse wheel, I can see that they're in two different locations. To make the next part a little bit easier, I'm going to split my view by going to the view tab and choosing two vertical. On the right, I have the architect's information, and on the left, I have the survey. So I'm going to select the stuff on the right and use the align command. I'm going to pick my starting point on the property line and pick the corresponding point on the topo survey, and then repeat it for the second point. I'm going to press enter to just use two points and then I'm not going to scale based on the values. And now I'm going to hide this surface and I can see my contours have been brought over. I then want to create a new surface and I can do that from the surfaces drop down or from the palette. And I'm going to call this FG. I can then add this data to the surface. I'm going to add it as contour data. and then hit OK. And then I'm going to select the contours that are in the drawing and press Enter. And now I have a surface that represents the FG surface. I could go in and add break lines and building pads to provide a little more detail. Um, but for this exercise, that's all I'm going to be doing. And just to make it a little less confusing, I'm going to delete an EG surface that was already in this drawing. And so now I've copied the contours over. I've created a new surface that needed a little more definition using break lines and additional information, but that's uh, pretty good for a starting point.